everybody welcome back to the channel to basic blitz number 11 spotting for dummies um, blitz is a bit of a strange game uh, in terms of spotting because when you spot an enemy or you are spotted um, you're both visible to everybody on the team and that has some repercussions for the gameplay that's why we're going to take an in-depth look on spotting how it works. We'll be looking at a view range first, a camo rating, view range with optics, proximity spotting, camo and binox, and then some homework things to do. Um, like I said, if you are visible to the enemy, uh, all of the red team can see you. Um, and it's basically a simple meta spotting if you are in line of sight of a tank. Uh, he'll be able to see you. If you are behind the building, he won't be able to see you. Um, but there are a few things you have to take into consideration. Uh, view range, camo rating, all that kind uh, of stuff needs to be considered. And then there's small nuances and detail bits as well. So let's take a look at view range first. If you look in the stats of a vehicle in the garage, you have to look at the turrets to see the view range. Obviously high tier tanks get a high view range. That Locust at 230 meters. Here the top turret on the uh, SP-1C gets to 60 whereas the first turret at 250. So upgrading turrets does help in getting the view range up. Um, picking out a tier 9 medium, the Sense 7 Mark 1, it has a view range with the top turret of 265 meters. Um, same goes for the FE4202, as you can see here, the tier 10 um, British medium turret. Scroll down a bit, view range to 65, and the best view range in the game is with the M48A1 pattern, the tier 10 American tank. And to show you a few things about the view range, I went to do a training room with three of my Emperor's clan members, Zosian, Mrs. Zosian, and Blood and Iron. And Zosian is going to pop in a second over here in a T-34. I'm driving the Crusader 240 meters of view range and I'm driving it without uh, optics at the moment. Um, as you can see the light bulb went off. Um, I spotted Zosian before the light bulb went off and it's something you have to take into account that the light bulb will come 3 seconds after you've been spotted by the enemy. He's moving backwards as you can see 220 and above and he's gone. And that leads us next to camo rating, because those two things uh, combined um, dictate when you are spotted by an enemy or not. Um, as you can see here, we're both spotted. Zosian is moving back in the tier 44. I'm in the Indian Panzer and we were on team speak at the time. I'm telling him to move towards that truck over there because that's about 260 meters of view range. You can see a crew skill icon below. We'll get to that later in the video. And Zosian has parked his um, tank behind that uh, truck now. And obviously camo rating will make your tank disappear, but anything you do like uh, moving or shooting, it will lower your camo rating. As you can see, I was spotted. There was a light bulb showing over there. I'm shooting again because I've dropped off the radar. Uh, we could confirm that on TeamSpeak. And as you can see, again, a light bulb. I'm spotted by Zosian. Um, but he can't spot, uh, I can't spot him, he is not firing the gun, he is staying there, his camo rating is at the highest and anything you will do in the game will lower that camo rating. I went off the radar again, he went driving towards me, he stopped as soon as he uh, had uh, the light bulb over there, he, I was spotted by him earlier as well. And like I said, that's something you have to take into consideration, the light bulb will go off 3 seconds after you are spotted. Now, to reset your camo rating, you have to get out of sight or out of view range of the enemy tank. Zosian is going to move behind that uh, hill over here and he's going to drop from my uh, view in a few seconds. And that has reset his camouflage values. Same goes for me. So I'm going to drive behind that bush to the left. I have a uh, camo painting on the tank. It enhances my camo rating. I have uh, this bush in front of me. It will enhance my camo rating. And you're going to see in a second how close Zosian has to get before he will spot me. Um, and camo rating, any tank that will move will lose its camo rating except for a light tanks. Um, they will lose their camo rating once they, uh, once they shoot. But their camo rating for stationary as well as moving is the same. So take notice of that if you are against a light tank and definitely um, do use that as much as you can. 
you can enhance your view range you can use optics um, coated optics they give you 10% extra uh, view range for a tank and to demonstrate that we are back again on that drill again in the Crusader with Blood and Arwen, Zotian and Mrs. Zotian and Zotian is gonna pop in a second in the T-34 a bit further away um, for those of you who've been paying attention to that first part he's gonna back up over here as you can see um, and he's going to the maximum view range uh, of the Crusader with optics. There's some things to take into consideration because he has his cruise skills developed and we're gonna take a look at it at the end of the video because cruise skills will enhance your camo rating as well. Being spotted by one tank is not the only way you can get spotted, there is also proximity spotting. And proximity spotting means you are spotted by one tank um, because you are within 50 meters of radius. As you can see from the view finder, uh, the range finder, I'm well out of view range from uh, Zotian. He confirmed to me on TeamSpeak that I um, was off his radar, but he was being proximity spotted by Blood and Iron in the Centurion. And to show you that uh, it was indeed proximity spotting, uh, Blood is moving away here. Zotian is going to drop off the radar at 142, and that's all there is to say to proximity spotting. To enhance your camo rating you could use indeed paint, you could use bushes, you can also use a camo net and to enhance your view range even more you can use binocs and I'm using them both over here. They are in full effect as you can see from the two icons below. Um, camo and binocs only work if you are stationary with your vehicle, with your tracks, with the hull for more than three seconds so that's something you have to take into account as well. And that leads us also to the things you need to do. Um, like I said, an experienced crew, it will enhance your uh, camo rating. So do mount vents if you have the money for it. And be sure to train the crew skills uh, for view range and for camo. Deadly accuracy, one of the tank destroyer crew skills. You can see uh, what the effect is. Um, you can see over here the effect of the camouflage and especially camouflage. If you have it fully developed, 18% extra uh, camo for your tank. Homework guys, learn the view ranges of tanks. What are the tanks on the tiers that have the longest view range? Don't be too trigger happy when you see one target available because you will drop your camo rating. Be aware of the time of 10 seconds until camo is reset. Train your crew skills but most of all have fun in the game. Cheers all, happy tanking and I'll see you all on the next episode.